Hi, the title of this video is Tox Detect Profile with Test Result Examples. This is a profile that comes from Mosaic Diagnostics Laboratory offered through the services of Lab Test Plus. So the Tox Detect Profile is a urine assessment of various environmental chemicals. This helps assess for environmental toxin exposure. And many of these chemicals are known to have adverse health effects. So we can all be exposed and are in many cases to various types of chemicals from automobile exhaust to baby products to building materials, carpeting, paint, lacquer, electronics, food and food packaging, herbicides, shampoos, a lot of ways that we can be exposed. And although the tox detect doesn't define a chemical specific to a particular disease or disorder, meaning it's not going to detect a disease state, it's going to give an, a, an idea of exposure. We know that many of these chemicals can be linked to ADHD, to Alzheimer's, to asthma, to autism, to birth defects, to cardiovascular problems, to various types of neurological issues, and even types of various cancers. So it's an important test to do if you want to assess yourself or a loved one, for example, in your family, for, again, chemical exposures that occur in our environment, but sometimes we're not aware of. So the way the test is laid out, it gives an idea of low, moderate, and high markers. So as we can see in this particular example, we have high xylene, high uh, ethylene oxide and vinyl chloride, elevated 2 for dichlorophenoxic acetic acid, which is actually an herbicide, acrylamide, perchlorate, etc. These are all considered high, well above the 95th percentile. The test also gives an idea of moderate exposures. These are all different types of phthalates. Phthalates are things that we get exposed to through cosmetics, through paint, lacquer, plastics, for example, often have phthalates. Now, as an example, xylene, which was elevated on this particular test, is widely used in industry and medical laboratories. It's released primarily from industrial sources, so people can get it through contaminated water, for example, but it can also come from automobile exhaust, cigarette smoke, paints, varnished, uh, varnishes, rust pre pre preventatives can also be other exposure sources. Now, long-term exposure to xylene can be problematic for both the kidneys and the liver. 2,4-D, which this stands for 2,4-dichlorophenoxic acetic acid, this is a widely used herbicide throughout the world, and it's commonly used in agriculture and landscaping. Sometimes they'll actually combine it with glyphosate. And so it's an endocrine disruptor. It can lead to reproductive problems. It can lead to developmental disorders. And there's also an increased risk, risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma from prolonged 2,4-D exposure. Perchlorate is a compound that can be found in many municipal water supplies. It can come from fireworks, explosives, even rocket fuel, interestingly enough. And one of the things it does is it inhibits thyroid function. So this is particularly concerning for a woman who's pregnant where the perchlorate can actually be an inhibiting factor to the thyroid development in a developing child. So a lot of different chemicals are picked up on the tox detect profile. These are just a few examples. So, Thing to remember about the urine tox detect assessment is it's looking at a variety of environmental chemicals. And in order for us to have these show up in our urine, they have to be absorbed into our body. That, that, that could occur from contaminated water or food or even topical applications where we're absorbing some of these compounds through the skin. And the tox detect is often used as an initial screening assessment for environmental chemical exposures or to establish a baseline evaluation before detoxification interventions are actually implemented. 
So the Tox Detect does not provide total assessment of all possible environmental chemicals. There's thousands of those. However, those that are on this profile are often highly correlative to various types of health conditions. The other thing to keep in mind is that the Tox Detect, as I mentioned before, does not indicate or diagnose a toxic health condition or disease. This test is specifically looking at exposure. So if you want to get an additional assessment of other chemicals and sometimes even heavy metals, you can also do a urine glyphosate test. That's another test that Lab Test Plus provides. It comes from Mosaic Diagnostics, as well as a hair analysis, which is a good way of assessing for heavy metal exposure. All of those tests are available through Lab Test Plus. For more information about Lab Test Plus and the services provided, please go to labtestplus.com. Thank you.